Morning, guys. Welcome to Copy Chat. Mm. Well, guys, last night we had probably one of the biggest thunderstorms that I have ever been in. And in fact, the lightning was this. It was all kinds of lightning. You know, I had that sheet lightning where the whole sky lights up and fork lightning coming down like that. It was just absolutely insane. And the wind was just how there was a driving rain. You could see it was just being pushed, 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 pushed. It was hitting the windows like crazy. It was just wild. Anyway, came out this morning. And wow, what a beautiful morning. I mean, it just literally just power washed the whole place, all the, the, the garden, the yard and everything. It's just really amazing just how nature does that. But boy, what a show it was. Unbelievable to be sure. Anyhow, guys, the articles I have today, I'll tell you. Mm. Boy, is the spin machine on full drive today. Guys, I was reading an article about the national debt. It just tipped over that $33 trillion mark, but that isn't the worst of it. The worst of it is $7.5 trillion have been added to this national debt just in the last two years, and $1 trillion of it just in the last three months. It is absolutely insane what's going on. And now, here you've got these members of Congress that have just been poo-pooing this digital asset space and all that, all this and that. Well, guys, what are they talking about now? You guessed it. They're talking about the implementation of CBDCs. And, you know, the attitude is, oh, well, we can't trust all these crypto bros over here. Da, 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 da. No, the American people should be able to rely on their government and all this kind of nonsense, of course. And I'm telling you what, when I see what they're doing, the, the Federal Reserve is doing with our national debt and the money system we got now can you just imagine what it's going to be like when they have that all that literally the monetary policy is literally programmed into the currency itself it is going to be insane and it's ridiculous but that is exactly what they expect they expect us to just buy it hook line and sinker oh all these people that are involved in this digital asset space they got to be up to no good they got to be out there trying to cheat you yeah, they're cheating the system and don't you know and on and on and on they're either tax cheaters fraudsters or whatever they are but you can trust your friendly neighborhood government that has literally sank your economy into one of the most abysmal realities that we have ever experienced in decades it is absolutely obscene it's just it makes you sick i'm absolutely tired of it but this is how it comes down and the way in which they try to spin it to, i mean it just blows my mind the deflection is insane and get this up there in Canada, you literally have the, the Trudeau going off on all of these grocery chains. Oh, they're price gouging. They're this. They are, are they? No, it's the cost that to manufacture, ship, transport, and put these goods on the shelf has gone sky high. Because why? You've been literally debasing the currency month after month after month after month and creating, you know, all of this helicopter cash to the nth degree. And it's cost a reaction but no 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 we're gonna put the blame and this is what they do guys they shift the blame they put it on other people's shoulders it's you know these big businesses that are getting rich off of all and on and on and they make these guys out to look like the bad guys right and what are they really doing there guys what they're doing there is implementing price controls they're just trying to do it in a way in which they come they don't come out and say oh the government's putting in price no they are implementing price control. That's what it is. And how are they doing it? They're utilizing their big stick of taxation, aren't they? To go out there and tax these corporations and this and this and this to, so that they acquiesce to the government's demand to, you know, keep prices at a particular thing. And the next thing you're going to see is legislative changes where that's going to come in place. Look, you even had, I think it was the mayor of Chicago out there recommending that the, there, that there be government run grocery stores. You heard it. Why? It in order to have in order to implement price controls because here in the United States they don't have these kind of you know social sticks like they do over there in China and different places like that where they can literally dictate their will to the same degree so what are they going to do they're going to go out there and what you're going to have an entire grocery store you know your friendly neighborhood government grocery store everything in there is going to be no name products and you're going to go in there look I'll tell you what if they ever want us to eat bugs they'll be feeding us it that way that's for sure Mm. 
But guys, they do this every single time. Th this is nothing new. Nothing new. This happened in the 70s, happened in the 1930s, on and on and on. Whenever there's been a political or a financial crisis that, hey, these politicians and all their policies have helped create, what do they do? Well, at the end of it, they put they shift the blame, number one. Number two, of course, the narrative that gets out there is all spun like crazy. Then number three, they throw in all their price controls and stuff like that. The next thing you're more than likely going to see is limits. You guessed it. It's limits. And what do they call limits? Hey, you go in the store, oh, only two limited per household and stuff like that. Guys, another word for that is rationing. Exactly what they're going to do. Watch and see. I mark my words. I bet my last XRP. That's what's coming down the pike. They're going to start to ration various things and put limits on it and stuff like that. And then, guys, what is it? It's a transition into a brand new system. You guessed it. They are going to start implement. Don't kid yourself. They're not just thinking about CBDCs now in the United States. They've been working on this thing since 2015. And I, I can tell you for a fact, guys, Canada and all these other major Western powers have been doing the same. They're getting ready to move us over to a digital currency. The whole system's going digital. The way securities are being bought and traded digital. What they're going to be, the token organization of everything and I'll tell you what they know for a fact that those that have had the gumption like you and I to get into this digital asset space and stick with it and have it hands of steel we are going to see some appreciations like crazy then guess what wow they're gonna look at us and they're gonna say well that's not right they shouldn't have been able to see such tremendous gains on the backs of everybody else and this that we are good you know what we need to do we need to have special taxation for people that have invested in the digital asset space mark my words that's what's coming back down i'm telling you it is absolutely obscene these are the folks that literally start the fire and the city starts burning down and then they come out and say oh wow but you know you can rent our you know our hoses we have a great water supply hey why don't you rent our hoses and they come in and they pretend to be the rescuers on the backs of everybody else these guys are at they have their their integrity has no, they have no integrity, number one, no limits. You got Elizabeth Warren out there literally conferring with Gary Gensler when he goes through the House Financial Services Committee and all this. You got like Brad Sherman out there in California literally calling you and I, calling us as if that we're up to no good, we must be fraudsters and everything else and on and on and on. And when it's just hardworking people out there trying to get ahead by make, taking what little that we've had and investing it in probably one of the most volatile and high risk markets there are because we see the future coming down the road. And because we have that insight, wow, we have to be bad people and on and on. It just makes my blood boil. It's absolutely ridiculous, completely obscene. And, it, and eventually we gotta put a stop to it. Now guys, I'll I'll tell you what we are probably going to see some big time dips and stuff like that but in the long haul i'm telling you it is going to be the greatest wealth transfer in the history of mankind i genuinely believe that what's what's coming down the road when we literally can read it and see it right before our very eyes this new digital economy and how it's taken over that you think that a lot of these big time ecosystems and certainly like the xrp ledger and xrp are not going to have an impact guys i'm telling you what we're not talking about toe prints we're talking about major footprints in the sand of this economy that these spaces are going to offer and I'll tell you, they're doing absolutely everything to scare people literally out of it as best they can because they don't want to see, look, you and I flipping the tables and absolutely having, you know, some, you know, a seat at that table and, and by becoming wealthy through this process. I'm telling you. It is so disingenuous. It really is obscene because these markets are supposed to be free markets, aren't they? Free market economies and all this and that. It is nothing but. Guys, it's probably one of the most manipulated situations you have ever seen. The way in which these markets are moving right now and the way the Federal Reserve and all these other central banks are printing money like crazy and manipulating the system to their end, it, it, to the nth degree, it is genuinely obscene. Don't let them buffalo you with all that baloney that they got out there because that's exactly what you're doing you take the federal reserves 
power to release one new dollar and it's game over. The whole point of the Federal Reserve is to inflate the system and they will use any excuse to do it. And they know that they're coming to the end game. They know they're causing a demise. But in the meantime, they've been able to do that, utilizing the power to just print money at will. And then what do they do? They use it for their political ends and the accumulation of their own wealth at, at the expense of the rest of us, because that's what it is. They're reaching right into our pockets and pulling cash out by the fistfuls by destroying the purchasing power of our dollars. That's what's going down. And to hear these politicians come out with all of their highfalutin, high-minded crap that they come out with, sorry guys, I just, you know, it just is obscene. And we got to get out there and get, and the truth of what this really is, is going to eventually come out. But in the meantime, we have to put up with this kind of more. Don't let yourself be absolutely buffaloed by it. You know, see through what they're doing. At least that's what I would say. Now, guys, hey, it's a Monday, and I got a bit on a soapbox here, to be sure. But I'm telling you what, sometimes you need to stand up and say it, right? We got to stand up and, and at least point it out. This is, These are the facts, Jack, and it's coming right out. And here we are. We're seeing it happen right before our very eyes. And yet they want us to to believe a different narrative and silence people. That's another thing that's going on that is really disturbing this trend to literally make it practically illegal for you to say anything that would contradict the message that they're delivering, which is absolute hogwash. Because look, these countries were formed on the backs of genuine understanding and debate and the freedom to express thoughts, ideas, and opinions, you know, and that's what we're doing here. And there is nothing wrong with doing it. Absolutely nothing. Don't stay silent. Get your voice out there. Don't let them dictate to you and I what it is, what freedom it is supposed to look like for us. Because freedom means that you have a right to your thoughts, expressions, opinions, and at least being able to get them out there in the public forum and have it debated. That is an absolute fact. And so, guys, don't acquiesce. Now, I hope <laughs> that you can get my drift on it because my heart is really out there to see people working together and to see things really come together in a way that we can all be benefit and prosper and have a certain future of hope and expectation. I really believe that. But when you see this kind of stuff going on, it really, really, really makes you question what the real motive and agenda is. It certainly doesn't seem like it's out there to protect you and I and the liberties that we so, so vitally hold so dear and value so much. So, hey, anyway, guys, I hope that you're going to have a fantastic Monday and we have a great video plan for you later on today. And until then have a fabulous one and take care.